Hey, what's up guys? This is my review of the Element Helix 6 to 24 by 50 second focal plane scope. Now it's got a 30 millimeter main tube. It's available in MOA and mil radian. It comes with two different reticles that you can see right here. And for $400, I think it's a killer, killer ass scope. And it has a surprise under the hood. I think you'll like. All right. Enough of my talk, let's get to the review. I'm gonna show you this thing up close, show you how it performed at the range. I had a good time playing with it, and then I'll be right back. Quick look at the box, and here's all the stuff that comes inside of it. Give me just a second, we'll look at each little piece up close. First, it comes with the little element sticker, so you can kind of fly your colors. It's got the reticle guide and the owner's manual, a couple of Allen wrenches that you'll need to set, the surprise zero stop that you're about to see. It's got two different kind of scope caps, a three inch sunshade that has all the glare or anti-glare stuff inside of it. And there's a look at the scope, the main event. Now on the scope turret, you're gonna notice that it has marks at 6, 12, and 24 power. That's for the second focal plane references. Now the eyepiece right here turns really smooth. There's no rubber cup on the end of it, but you shouldn't need one unless you just put this thing on an elephant rifle. Everything turns smooth. Everything works great for its price range. The post right here on the magnification ring, you can take it on or off. Depending on the gun, you may want to take this thing off. I know I have to on some of my rifles. Otherwise, it could be a real knuckle buster. All right, now moving forward from the magnification ring, it's a side focus. Now it goes all the way down to 10 yards and it turns exceptionally smooth. And a real bonus when I took it to the range is that it ranges really, really well. This thing turns as smooth as a lot of scopes that cost twice as much. I was super, super impressed with how well the side focus works. Now the money maker on any scope for me is in the turrets. Here we go, you can hear them. It's got rev counters on it, so you'll know exactly where you're at as you mess with it. There's a small amount of slop, but about what you would expect at this price range. Turrets are real easy to pick up. You can hear them easily and you can feel them very, very easily. They also can be re-zeroed without any tools. All you have to do is unscrew this little cap on the top and pull the turret straight up. Once you get it up and down, then you can turn it to wherever you want. And you can also line it up exactly where you want it. Now, once you pull the turret off, there's the zero stop. Now, it's a floating zero stop, meaning that you can raise it up, screw it down, and get it out of the way and not using it all. Or you can loosen it like I'm doing here. And you, it's got three little screws around the edge. Once you loosen it, you simply lower it down. Your rifle is already zeroed and turn it clockwise until it hits a stop. Right there, you can see everything is made out of brass, aluminum. It's really well put together, especially for this freaking price range. Put the zero stop where you want it, tighten it down, and when you put the turret assembly back on, you want to make sure and get it zeroed just right. Line it up, put the cap on it, and go to work. When you hit it, it stops. All right, enough of this. We're off to the range. All right, everything we're going to do here is at 100 yards. There's a look at a skull that I put up there. Here the scope is on 6 power. Here it comes on 12, and you're also fixing to see it on 24 power. This will give you an idea how the reference points lines up. You can look in the manual to get a better idea of exactly what each reference point means on each magnification. Now here's the focus point of impact test. This was something I was really, really freaking impressed by. A lot of scopes in this price range fail this thing miserably. Here comes the vertical tracking. Unfortunately, I left the zero stop on it. It brought it right back and locked back in because of the zero stop. Here comes the horizontal tracking. Everything on this scope worked exactly as it should. And like I say, for $400, this thing is a really, really nice choice and a great scope that I know you can depend on. Here comes the box test. I'm going one full revolution in each direction. I'll bring it right back to zero. Again, here comes another touchdown. This thing is doing everything really, really well. And if you're worried about the resolution on the $400 scope, those are 22 caliber bullet holes on 24 power at 100 yards. Yeah, you can see what you want. All right, guys, there you go. I hope you enjoyed the skull downrange instead of my normal target. Just wanted to mix it up a little bit. And since it's a second focal plane, I didn't have to worry about getting the reference points dead on. Now, I'd like to say a couple of words about Element Optics. 
they have three scopes in their scope lineup. Now there's several different reticles depend on which scope. There's the $400 Helix, the $800 Titan, and the $1,500 Nexus. Now I have a Titan review coming soon. You'll see links to my Nexus review below. But all three of these scopes, I've been testing the Titan, I just haven't got the video finished yet, are really, really solid values for the price points. Also below, you're gonna see all the specs for this scope. There's gonna be a link to Element and a link to a couple of Element dealers that I've used and I know for a fact these guys get the stuff out just like that. You can't beat that stuff. Guys, I hope you enjoyed the video. Keep watching. I've got another giveaway coming. And I've got a couple of videos that are a little outside my comfort range that I hope you guys will enjoy. Take care.